Hadoop's Commodity Hardware-Based Approach Presented by Zero2ProTraining.com Many companies are aiming to explore large collections of data in order to extract useful information. Two options are available when it comes down to implementing a big data solution. The first option is to build an in-house infrastructure. An in-house solution relies on commodity hardware and open source software. The second option is to purchase a big data appliance. In this video, we will talk about Hadoop's commodity hardware based approach. Hadoop software is usually implemented on clustered computers running Linux operating system. It is implemented in a master slave architecture. Each cluster contains various computers called nodes. At least one node is declared as master. While the rest work as slave nodes. The master node manages the slave nodes. Also, it manages the tasks related to processing and accessing the data files on slave nodes. The slave nodes manage the data files. They process the read and write requests to the files. Large clusters usually have a name node as well. The name node manages namespace of Hadoop distributed file system and regulates access to the data files. The Hadoop distributed file system provides the structure necessary to store, manage, and access the files. On smaller clusters, the name node function is performed by the master node. MapReduce framework is an important component of Hadoop. The framework works in together with Hadoop distributed file system. It breaks large data sets into manageable blocks. The smaller blocks could be distributed across thousands of computers. Also they are replicated within the cluster to enable fault tolerance. It also balances the load among the slave nodes. The load balancing results in efficient parallel operations. Examples of operations are searching data, processing requests, and performing analyses. Hadoop software, including the file system and the MapReduce framework, are designed with commodity hardware in mind. The commodity hardware is made up of PC-based computers, consisting of similar components. The computers adhere to open standards and contain compatible interfaces. This makes it easy to replace one computer with another. The prices of regular personal computers are significantly lower as compared to high-end custom servers. Thank you for watching. For more videos, please visit zero to protraining.com.